Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and I'm going to get back to working on my grandfather clock, hopefully real soon. Almost got uh, issues worked out with it, but uh, uh, I, I wanted to do a video on uh, the um, the jurors, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that word, lathe, or the uh, watchmaker's lathe, which is this thing right here. Um, the problem with these lathes, sorry, is the collets. The collets were not made for repairing clocks. Um, the most collets that I have do not fit onto the um, onto the wheel. And you can use this lathe to polish pivots. Uh, you can use it to uh, clean parts. Uh, you will find in this video that you can clean a wheel with mothers, shine it all up in seconds, not minutes or hours, but seconds. But the problem with these is the collets that fit in here. So uh, this video is going to show you what it takes to, uh, uh, to modify this to put a Jacob's Chuck into the system. And a Jacob's Chuck will open up quite a bit depending on the Jacob Chuck that you get. I bought quarter inch Jacob's Chucks and so um, the purpose of this video is to show you what it takes to modify the uh, 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 watchmaker's lathe uh, to, um, to, uh, to be able to use it uh, successfully. And if you look on eBay, these things sell for around, on the average, five to six hundred dollars, and with the collets and stuff. But the collets, it's not made for clocks. Okay, that's why you need a Jacob's Chuck to uh, to uh, to use it for clocks. Um, and this video explains all that. There is a uh, a, a, a lathe on marketplace right now. Uh, it doesn't have a tail stock. And they're selling it for $150, I believe. But um, these things are not cheap, uh, but they are very useful. So if you get a chance to get one, um, uh, uh, I suggest that you buy it if you're going to be repairing clocks for a very long time. Even if it's your own personal clocks. You know, my uh, homemade lathe where I use two drills, it has worked for me in the past, but it's a pain to set up and to get exactly right. And the drill battery only lasts so long. So uh, the negative portion on one of these lathes is you got to have the, um, you got to have the space to set one. This is how big the lathe setup is. You gotta have a, a thick board to put this lathe setup. And, the, and then um, a lot of these lathe setup has got sewing machine pedals to them. Uh, you can go to Hobby Lobby and buy what's called a, a rheostat, I believe that's what it's called, uh, that you wire into the uh, uh, a, a plug-in and you mount that rheostat to this board and the purpose behind that rheostat is to slow down the motor you know the lathe has got different pulleys on it and uh, that slows it down or speed it up but sometimes it's too fast so you want the rheostat or a sewing machine pedal type system to uh, start it and to slow it down and speed it up. So I hope you all like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channels that I'll show at the end of this video. Please leave me comments. And, uh, and so let's get started. So I bought longer bolts for the headstock along with these uh, metal inserts. And I pounded the metal inserts down flat. Now the bolt, um, 
the hole for the headstock is a little bit bigger than the tailstock, so I used some blue tape to go around these uh, inserts, and then um, I put them in, and as you can see, it's pretty dang, um, pretty dang good. And with the Jacob Chuck, you can, I really need a, like a handle, like the um, original headstock has, but you can change bits real easily with the Jacob's Chuck. Now the downsides to the Jacob's Chuck, it's a three jaw, so it might take you a couple of times to put it in right. And like I said, with the tail stocks, they, um, they have a little bit of play in them. And so, this is the tail stock for this lathe, but because they have play in them, <clears throat> you might not get dead center when drilling a hole. So I need to take up the play. But, uh, you know, it, it would be perfect for polishing pivots or for polishing up your wheels with mothers and with the right uh, material to, uh, to tighten the tailstock down. It would be perfect for for uh, uh, putting new um, pivots in broken wheels, uh, but until you come up with the light right system, um, <clears throat> as you can see, that is almost dead center. But because the tailstock's got play in it, when you go to pushing on it, it will come off dead center. So um, it might be because this thing, I don't know when it was made, it might be because it's extremely old and the tailstock is worn out. But uh, I got two other lathes to play around with to see what happens. Sorry, this is not the tailstock for this lathe. Um, this lathe didn't have a tailstock. This is the tailstock for this lathe. As you can see, again, the uh, tailstock has got play in it, but uh, when positioned properly, it's dead center. However, because the tailstock's got play in it, it's not dead center. Um, I can lift a sixteenth of an inch or so on this tailstock. It's got that much play in it. But if I want to polish up gears, mothers, parts in the Jacob's Jeff, New rag. Uh, 
let me show you how shined up this gear is from this mother's. And that took seconds. You see how pretty that is? It took seconds to do that. Not minutes, not hours, seconds. I'm gonna do this gear just to show you. It's gonna take longer to put this thing in the Jacob's chuck than it will for me to shine this thing up. Because I don't have the proper handle to tighten up the Jacob's chuck. Put some others on my rag. Now this has got a wire on it. And I hope it don't hit that wire. Which it's doing. It's got a wire for the uh, ratcheting system, and it was hitting the wire, and so it's better than what it was, but I can't do what I need to do because of that wire. I'm just pulling parts out of my parts drawer. Um, I'm just going to show you with this wheel. Before... Again, it's going to take longer to put this thing in the chuck than what it will to polish it up. More mothers. I think that's enough. Clean rag. My belt came off, but that's okay. Because uh, I got it polished up, I believe. You see the difference? If you don't, that's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. Seconds to clean it up. Not minutes, not hours, but seconds. So the lathe... Even if you just got it to save you time, because um, if your hands are like me, if you're old like me and you got a carpal tunnel in your hands, it hurts to sit here and polish crap up. And um, with this lathe, it will save me a lot of time. Seconds. And like I said, the collets, it's a watchmaker slave. I've got collets in here that have bigger holes. This collet right here has got the biggest hole. But there's some parts that 
you can't tighten up enough. I tried drilling this one and I got a hole drill, but as you can see, the side of the collet kind of bent away. The Jacob Chuck, what I'm getting at, is a lot better system than these stupid collets. The collets, you have to keep replacing um, for your part, the Jacob Chuck opens up extremely far and it closes all the way. That's how far it opens and it closes all the way. Um, you just have to uh, push the, the bolt pushes on the uh, system to uh, allow it to close all the way. Get you a Jacob Chuck for your uh, watchmaker's size Drury lathe. Here's where I bought the uh, uh, Jacob's Chucks. It cost me a total of $12.33 to include tax and everything. They were eleven forty-five with free shipping. I just got them in today. Like I said, I just got them in today, and uh, they're supposed to be quarter-inch uh, drives, and so uh, they're smaller ones and bigger ones. There's a total of uh, four, but. Uh, you should be able to unscrew this and it should screw right into my bolt but it doesn't it's a different size bolt it's not quarter inch as they suggested so um, I'm gonna have to get a bigger bolt for these but, you know, bolts are only like a dollar a piece. And so, um, that kind of throws a wrench into the system. But, I needed these. Uh, they are not the same thing as my other Jacob's Chuck. That is a bigger bolt. As you, as you can see, that don't fit on there. Difference in sizes of holes. So, to the hardware store today for me. The inside diameter of the headstock is 10.6 millimeters in diameter. I'm just going to take the headstock with me to the hardware store and uh, get me a bolt. It's easily taken off like so. And so uh, that way I can get a bolt and take the Jacob's Chuck with me. Um, that way it'll see if I can get something that fits a little bit tighter in there without using those collets. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. And that. Anyway, to the hardware store again. So I went to the hardware store trying to find a bolt that will fit through here, that will fit the Jacob's Chuck. And I couldn't find one. So I bought this all thread rod. And what I'm going to have to do is cut it off. Part of it will fit down 
this part of the uh, of the chuck. So I'm going to mark that here, then add a few threads for the Jacob's chuck, and then add another section that that will go through the uh, headstock, and then cut it off, and then take a file and uh, file it down so it pitched through there. And the, um, with my brand new digital micrometer uh, here, the inside diameter is 8.64. This bolt is 9.64. Three five in diameter, so I have to take almost one millimeter off. So that is what I'm going to do next. Wish me luck. Be having this issue if the people that sold these on eBay advertised it better. Uh, they said it was quarter inch. They are quarter inch, but not that part. This one, my original one, is quarter inch. The Jacob Chuck will not open big enough to put that bolt in, so I had to put it in my drill. And I'm going to take my grinder to this uh, while I have the grill on. So, a uh, drill, sorry, not grill, drill. And hopefully, I can get it down to the right size. So. Putting the bolt in this way, it goes quite a ways and it stops. Putting the bolt in this way, it goes that far and then it stops. So I'm going to have to um, make from here to um, a certain spot smaller it goes in that far so I got to measure that from this and make that from here to whatever smaller and FYI it has to be at the diameter of this collet because this collet fits in there and so it has to be the diameter of this collet and I left my measuring tool outside I told you wrong it has to be the diameter of this shaft because this shaft is what fits in the headstock and I believe the collet is a little bit thicker um, than this shaft so anyway back to grinding and I keep telling you wrong this fits in through the back side, but it only goes so far. This doesn't fit in this way. The collet is seven point nine one. This is. 8.15 but the threads of the collet is what matters it's 6.80 there's a spot that this fits in from here to here and then this spot right here is smaller than all this other spot so um I'm going to have to make this all the same size as this thread right here, which is 6.77, 6.78. So I'm going to have to do some more grinding. This part will keep the thing in place. 
especially when I put the um, uh, this part through hopefully it'll keep it in place and then uh, I'm gonna have to tap some uh, threads and put a nut on this that way it stays centered but it would be so much easier if these were one quarter inch in diameter. I already got that system fixed, but because I bought these and they are bigger in diameter, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, so I got the uh, bolt in. Um, I got the uh, uh, Jacob's chuck on push it in there turn it on it looks good except for back here like I said I need to put some threads on this put a nut and maybe a spacer just like I did with the others that way it's nice and tight and centered and uh, will do what I want it to do I have a, a brand new tap and die set around here somewhere but currently I can't find it because I'm disorganized and that's why I don't work on other clocks for other people but as you can see with the two Jacobs chucks it matches up perfectly with the drill bits um, but if I turn the, uh, the power on that wobbles and that's because this needs to have a nut and uh, a collar on the inside just like I did with these where I put the bolt and then the insert to uh, to uh, get it dead center that's what needs to happen to the headstock if I bought the right Jacobs Chuck. I wouldn't be having any of these issues because I've already bought the bolts that will fit in the headstock, etc., etc. So I hope you all like this video. Um, uh, Jacobs Chucks work a lot better than the uh, what comes with it. Again, this is a drawer's. Sorry, I can't pronounce that. This is a uh, watch person's lathe, and I'm converting it into a clock person's lathe. These collets were not made for clocks. They were made for little bitty wheels on watches and uh, etc. And so uh, w what you need is a Jacob's Chuck. And what you have to do to get that Jacob's Chuck is, um, A, get the right Jacob's Chuck. And this Jacob's Chuck fits on to a quarter by 20 inch bolt. This Jacob's Chuck doesn't. The hole is a lot bigger, and I got four of them that way. So I hope you all like this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, uh, leave me some comments and um, uh, tell me what you think you know I'm <coughs> you heard me say this before back in high school I took um, metal shop three years I was good at metal shop I worked with blades all the time I graduated high school when I was 18 years of age. I'm now 59. I haven't messed with the lathe since high school. The Air Force screwed up when they put me in munitions. They should have put me in a fabrication machine shop uh, because uh, I was extremely good at machine shop. I... Um, I was very talented. I was a teacher of the day in my senior year. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember all that knowledge that I had for those three years 
and uh, and I haven't touched a lathe in um, 41 years and so um, I, I think I've done pretty good again may God bless each and every one of you